Welcome back to the channel. I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a take profit as well as a stop loss on the Binance Futures Exchange. If you get some value out of this video, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. First, I'll show you how to set a stop loss and a take profit with the position that's already open. Then I'll show you how to set a stop loss and take profit when opening a position. So first thing I need to do is come over here to the order panel. I'm just going to mark it into a small long position here. Something like this. Now that I've opened my position, I'm going to quickly put a couple horizontals on the chart here for the purposes of demonstration. So I'm going to grab a horizontal line right here. I'm going to go ahead and just mark out these wicks, something like that. Good enough for this demonstration. Then I'm going to go ahead and mark this area out right down here, perhaps something like that. And now we can see that Bitcoin is in a range on the four hour. The easiest way to set our take profit and stop loss from here would be coming down to the positions tab. And way over here on the right hand side, you'll see where it says TPSL for position. Right below that, you'll see a little pencil icon inside a box. Give that a click and you'll get a pop up window where you can set your take profit as well as your stop loss. So let's imagine that I'm targeting the top side of this range at twenty five thousand two hundred and eighty nine. Of course, I can see that price point on the Y axis of the chart because I went ahead and marked it with a horizontal. So I'm going to go ahead and type that into the take profit box. Let's go twenty five thousand. 289. Now Binance is estimating what my profit would be if my price target gets hit. Now let's imagine I want to set a stop loss just a little bit below support. Of course I marked out support with that horizontal and we can see on the Y axis of the chart that there's a price point correlating to that horizontal at 23,558. So let's go just a little bit lower than that. We'll come down here and we'll type in 23,458. Now we can see Binance is estimating what the loss would be if my stop loss gets hit. Once you have this set up the way that you want it, you just simply click on confirm. Now we've set our take profit as well as our stop loss. And we can see that down here under open positions underneath TPSL is where we can see the price points that I selected. So here's my take profit right here and here's my stop loss right here. If price action begins to float to the upside and tags the top side of this range, I'll be taking a little bit of profit. If price action rolls over and breaks through the bottom of this range, then I'll be stopped out slightly below this horizontal here. We can also see the details of our take profit and stop loss. If we come down here next to positions, click where it says open orders. And right over here on the right hand side, we can see the trigger conditions for our orders. Of course, we see our stop loss right here, 23,458. And we see our take profit here at 25,289. If at any point you want to cancel those, you just come over here on the right hand side where this little trash icon is and you just give that a click. And as you can see, I just removed the take profit as well as the stop loss. So I'm going to go ahead and just cancel this position here. I'll go ahead and mark it out and then I'll show you how to do this when opening the position. So let's come back up here to the order panel. I'll go ahead and just do a small position here. And while I'm opening this position, I'm going to check this box right here where it says TPSL. And here's where we can enter our take profit as well as stop loss. Let's go ahead and use the same price points. So we have our take profit in that top horizontal at 25,289. And then let's do our stop loss slightly below support at 23,558. So maybe we'll do 23,458. Now that I'm ready to place my long order, I'll go ahead and just click right here where it says open long. And I've opened that position with the take profit as well as the stop loss. If we come over here on the left hand side, of course, we can see our open position here. And if we click on open orders next to positions, here's where we can find the details of the take profit as well as the stop loss. If you wish to view even more details regarding your orders, you could click right here where it says view under TPSL. And then Binance will give you a little pop up window with more details regarding your take profit and stop loss. If at any point you want to cancel your take profit and stop loss, of course, come back down here to open orders. Over here on the right hand side, click these trash icons. And as you can see, I just removed those. As easy as that. Of course, at the end of the day, you'll need to do your own technical analysis and decide where a take profit might be appropriate for you, as well as where you'd like to manage your risk with the stop loss. But that's how you get that done. 
And there you have it. That's how you set up a take profit as well as a stop loss. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my other Binance tutorials, which I put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.